China has begun large-scale military exercises in the air and sea around Taiwan just a day after U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi ended her controversial visit. The exercises are taking place in some of the busiest waterways and include live fire drills. Some of the affected areas are just 12 miles off the island, the closest Beijing's military exercises have ever come. Taiwan says the move, which stops ships and planes from using the space, violates its sovereignty and amounts to a blockade. Arise Chief Correspondent John Cookson reports. China's state broadcaster releases fresh images of missile launches as Beijing holds its largest ever military exercises around Taiwan. At least 11 rockets have been fired towards the Taiwan Straits, a show of Chinese strength and fury over the Pelosi visit. China has launched some of its most sophisticated military hardware for these exercises, these state-of-the-art helicopters seen over Pingtan Island, one of mainland China's closest points to Taiwan. China's also ordered stealth fighters and long-range bombers to get airborne. They can fire short-range ballistic and hypersonic missiles. And Beijing's battleships are also bound for the Chinese self-declared exclusion zones off Taiwan. As this graphic shows, Taiwan is now surrounded as Chinese mock exercises get underway. Some experts believe it could be a dress rehearsal for a full-scale invasion by China, which has threatened repeatedly to retake what it claims is Chinese territory. Beijing's anger boiled over because of a visit to breakaway Taiwan by U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, the highest-ranking U.S. politician to visit in a quarter of a century. Pelosi, a long-time critic of China's human rights record and anti-democratic rulers, justified the visit by saying it showed America's continuing support for its allies. The Chinese response is witnessed today as live fire missiles are seen and heard on the mainland coast, being fired in the direction of Taiwan as the war games get underway. American spy planes have been sent to watch over the Chinese military exercises, and the USS Ronald Reagan aircraft carrier, which is forward deployed with the US Pacific Fleet, is thought to be edging nearer to Taiwan, all leaving tensions in the Far East the highest in years. John Cookson, Arise News. And John now joins us for more. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, nice report. Uh, what do we know about these uh, military drills that are happening so far? Hi, ladies. Great to be on uh, News Day. Well, it got underway at uh, 5 a.m. Uh, London and Nigeria time uh, this morning. And as you saw from my report, it's all pretty frightening. I mean, if I was a Taiwanese person sitting in Taipei or wherever in, in Taiwan, I'd, I'd be pretty much concerned. As you can see from uh, the, the, the graphic there, those red squares of the exclusion zones. And there are reports today that, in fact, the Chinese have added uh, a, a seventh now, these exclusion zones means that no one should enter, enter there and there are areas of sea that the Chinese feel that they can carry out these uh, war games, basically. And, uh, the, I mean, the, 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 the rockets taking off, you can see there, uh, I mean, they're, they're splashing down in the ocean, but uh, my goodness me, uh, if I was in Taiwan now, I'd, I'd, I'd be pretty worried. Uh, so that's the situation at the moment. The... Um, Exercise will continue until Sunday. Uh, the, what experts are really looking at is will the Chinese enter uh, what is uh, recognized as the territorial waters or airspace of Taiwan? Uh, the Chinese, of course, don't regard Taiwan as having its own territorial waters or airspace because they believe that it's part of, part of China. Uh, so it'll be very, very interesting to see just how close uh, Chinese warships and Chinese missiles and Chinese aircraft actually get uh, inside the, the, the 12 mile limits uh, uh, on Taiwan. The, the, these are troubling days and uh, as I said in my report, uh, the, the Americans are, are going to have to act at some point and we, we understand that the US uh, Ronald Reagan battle fleet uh, is edging towards that region. So troubled times in the Far East at the moment.
Now, John, China seems very angry about Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. Can you explain why? Well, as I said before, the, the, the Chinese regard Taiwan as, as part of China. It, it, it was only it only became a break, breakaway uh, nation in quotes after Chiang Kai-shek uh, led his followers there in 1949. And uh, Taiwan hasn't been recognized uh, universally as a separate nation, as, as a legal entity, a country in its own right. Only 15 nations recognize uh, Taiwan as an independent country. And Pelosi's visit uh, legitimizes, if you like, uh, uh, the Taiwanese claims to be uh, a country standing on its own, uh, a proper legal entity uh, as a nation. And of course, the Pelosi visit, the uh, she, she being the highest ranking uh, politician to visit Taiwan in 25 years, uh, w was a huge boost uh, for Taiwan. And while she was, she was there, she met human rights activists and even survivors from the Tiananmen Square uh, uh, massacre back in 1991. So from a, a, a propaganda point of view, the Taiwanese obviously are going to use this. Uh, and this is why the Chinese are so angry about it. Uh, incidentally, um, uh, it, Pelosi was asked in South Korea about uh, what's going on at the moment uh, in the Taiwanese Straits, and she 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 declined to comment. So she, I think, she realizes now that uh, it's better to stay quiet on this subject at the moment. Yeah, seems like. Uh, so, what has been the reaction from Washington so far? Nothing official so far, nothing out of D.C., but of course, uh, given the uh, hour of the day, they're five hours behind Nigeria time. So uh, uh, I'm sure there will be some kind of comment a little bit later in the day. Uh, the only unofficial word, if you like, is the moving of these warships, uh, these uh, U.S. Uh, warships uh, into the region. Away, uh, they, they, they were originally in the Fili off the Philippines, moving them towards Taiwan and the Americans have huge assets, military assets in, in, in the Far East, especially in, in Japan. And uh, uh, it'll be interesting to see what military movements the, the U.S. makes over the coming uh, day or so. But, uh, you know, standing back from this, and uh, what one might say that, in fact, the, the Americans and the Chinese need to tone this down. Maybe they want to do that. Uh, and I'm sure there's a flurry of uh, diplomatic activity uh, going on, both in Washington and in, in Beijing, to, to, to cool things a little. So it would perhaps be best for the Americans to let the, the Chinese get on with it, uh, 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 as long as they don't invade uh, Taiwan, and, and let them get the exercises finished and for things to cool down again uh, after Sunday. But what impact are the drills having on shipping in the region? Absolutely huge. Uh, uh, about 90% of the world's big ships pass through the Taiwanese uh, straits uh, uh, during the course of a year. And also these huge container vessels, about half of them, uh, want companies like Maersk use the Taiwanese straits all the time. I mean, hundreds and hundreds, thousands of vessels pass through these, these straits uh, during the course of one year, uh, bringing goods and taking goods back to, to China, China, exporting to the rest of the world. And there, there is impact already uh, on shipping because they, they're they obviously staying away uh, fr from this region. So uh, it, it will impact on uh, global shipping and, and lead to delays and, and delays in deliveries, uh, possibly of vital goods throughout the world. John Cookson, thank you so much for joining us on Newsday.